the Harvard College class of 2015 with whom I have made out. Hello. To the parents of the members of the Harvard College class of 2015 with whom I have made out, your daughter is a lesbian. <laughs> Collectively, we hold the flame of this community within us. The flame that breathes life into this beautiful place we call Harvard. Let's be each other's home. Let's carry that flame forever. And never, ever, ever let it go. I hope you will treasure these years and these experiences because they are now part of your story, but more importantly, they're part of Harvard's four century story. But I think when we look around, it's often not the scale that's missing in our world where we see so many opportunities to improve our society, but the will, and you must be willing. And my fear is certainly not that we will uh, sell out, that would be an unfair judgment to make. Uh, everyone needs to pay the bills, and I'm sure many of us will go on to be great philanthropists. But I worry that by not sufficiently questioning our path in life, we may struggle to find lives of joy and purposeful work. So freshman fall, I decided to take neurobiology and advanced modern literature because I was serious and intellectual. <laughs> Needless to say, I should have failed both. I got D's for your information, and to this day, every Sunday, I sleep up for a small effigy with a pagan god with great information. <laughs> but as I was fighting my way through Olive Bay, Shua, Pink Hebrew, and the different mechanisms of neural response, I saw friends around me writing papers on sailing and pop culture magazines, and professors teaching classes on fairy tales and the Matrix. I realized that seriousness, for seriousness, seriousness to sake, was its own kind of trophy, and a dubious one, a pose I sought to counter some half-imagined argument about who I was. There was a reason I was an actor. I loved what I did. And I saw from my peers and my mentors that that was not only an acceptable reason, it was the best reason. I have walked the hallowed holes of Harvard and come out the other side with two things we will be I could never have at the same time. An English degree and a job. <laughs> Hello, class of 2015. Woo! But senior year, this honesty extended to those outside the Harvard community as we all began to answer the perennial question, what are you doing next year? In answering this terrible, terrible question, honesty had to become a little more creative. If we were going to be unemployed in our parents' basement, we told people that we were working on a startup. So cheers, class of 2015. As I eat this handbook over the course of this long day, I will internalize everything I've learned in these four years of this school. And I hope that you will do the same. I'll miss you guys. We have come to